this was Patrick going out the window. Um, he was in the second story in the library, and it was about three hours. You know what? I'm gonna uh, focus on that. Uh, focus on it. Um, <clears throat> three hours after he'd been shot in the head and in the foot, um, he got to the window. Um, the window was probably roughly as far as from here to that chair. Um, he made a couple wrong turns. He had um, a, uh, a buckshot pellet had gone six inches through his skull and lodged toward the bottom rear of the skull, went through the language center, um, made the left side of his body completely paralyzed. Um, he'd gone in and out of consciousness. He would wake up, think, yeah, i got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. Wasn't sure exactly what had happened. Just remembered something awful had happened. Crawled a little bit, um, went out again, and sort of <coughs> veered up in the wrong direction, uh, ran into bodies and other things on the floor, and finally got to the window um, after three hours. Um, and he says, you know, he didn't so much really fall out the window as he, um, oh, I'm not, yeah, sorry, I got that wrong. I mean, he didn't jump out the window as he usually put, he sort of fell out the window. He got up to it and sort of tried to push himself out. Then he went over the ledge here and couldn't get himself out. He had to work to kick his, his one good leg up so he could sort of tumble out. Um, meanwhile, SWAT team on the ground saw him up in the window and didn't know what was going on or why he was trying to get out of there. They could see he was panicky. Um, so they had commandeered a, um, it wasn't a Brinks truck, it was a, a it was a Loomis armored truck. Um, they, and they, they raced it up to the building, got there just in time, SWAT officers jumped out, clambered onto the roof, and as you can see, you know, got there just in time to catch him as he, as he fell down. Um, he couldn't talk very clearly, um, and most of the things he said uh, for a long time didn't make any sense. The doctors told his parents that it looked pretty bad, that he may well be, you know, uh, but he, he was never going to talk again. Um, they didn't set his foot. Um, so they told his parents he's never going to need that. It's going to be useless. Anyway. Um, Patrick wasn't having any of that. Um, he decided he was going to fight back. Um, he was going to learn to walk again. He was going to learn to talk again. And he did. Um, he'd never gotten a B in high school. Um, he'd gotten all A's, and he had told his parents that he was going to be the valedictorian. He was a junior. It was the end of his junior year. Um, he got a tutor. Um, he worked really hard and he graduated valedictorian. Mm -hmm. Then he went to Colorado State University and he graduated magna cum laude there. Um, he had been a champion in water skier. Um, he can't compete in water skiing, but he did learn to water ski again. He walked again. He walked with a bit of a limp. Uh, hand, his hand twitches a little bit. Um, other than that, he's pretty good. He has to take anti-seizure medication every day, probably for life. Um, but he's okay with that. He's very happy. He got married a couple of years ago. He's got a beautiful wife. Um, he's got a great job. He just got promoted about um, a month or two ago to uh, he's a financial, uh, anal, fan, financial planner, I guess it's called. Um, he's now um, in charge of a whole office of planners in the suburbs, he's, and he's very happy. And he forgave the killers just a couple weeks after the murders. Um, in fact, so early that um, his mom didn't think he understood. And Kathy Ireland is one of the most, she's one of the nicest people in the world. She has this amazing tranquility about her. Um, you would see her as probably one of the first people to forgive the killers from Columbine. Um, she was not ready to forgive them yet um, while her boy was lying in, the, in his hospital bed, um, struggling to make her understand, you know, the words out of his mouth. But, she should forgive him. Um, but he didn't see any usefulness in, um, in staying angry at them. Um, he said he's got, he's got things to do. 